I'll do takes. Okay, then it's up to you to like, you know. I'm here with a, with a, a woman that I'm a, I've been a huge fan of for a long time, for probably three years since I, I first introduced to your work at your sister's bakery, mm -hmm. sister and brother-in-law's bakery, Alexander's Bread, Mary Rhinelander. Is that the whole word? Is, is your mother Mary something? I mean, is no, your mother? My mother is, is there Nancy. Nancy Rhinelander. Yeah. Okay. But the, the Rhinelanders are, are, how long have you, does the, does the lineage go back in Gloucester ways? It does go back a couple of generations to the great grandparents. Yeah. Who um, had a place on Eastern Point. There you go. There you go. And uh, I'm, I'm, but your work, um, it's on a, it's kind of a, on a simple scale, an elegant scale, and um, I keep coming back to, and we talked about this earlier, how it's affordable. It's, but it's 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 really Cape Ann. It really is. It's really Gloucester and really Cape Ann. You 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 have um, you have a way of. Uh, the words are escaping, but it cuts to the core of it. it's in the in the vein of like the the Folly Cove uh, printers, love, yeah, love you know what I mean, and, and really of what our community is all about. And I was wondering what what are your inspirations and in, and in when you're approaching something like your blue boop, your Cape Ann Blue Willow uh, design, what is what is it? What drives you and what 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 interest you and what and and to make you make these types of things well I, I mean in this case I was looking for sort of iconic Cape Ann um, visuals and sites so that that's what this actually has on it otherwise with with my other prints um, that I you know it's multi-season so we have some of these pieces that are from more of a wintry scene or let this is from I took um, I wore from a picture from last summer. I know who that is. Yeah, a lot of people say that. That's Tiger right there. <laughs> a lot of people say that. Mm -hmm. um, and um, so, you know, it, in this case, this is more of a kind of graphic exploration of Gloucester with a pen and ink line as opposed to a more painterly approach, which is what my monoprints are. Um, and I think the fact that I've been coming here since I was, um, you know, when you know my mother was coming here when she was pregnant with me, uh, which would have been you know 51 years ago, I swear it just gets in you. You know the smell of the Rosa Rugosa in the summertime and the, I mean the smell of the fish pressing and all the, the all those smells. I when I when I drive around I I have that Proustian sensibility of, of my nose is as much of an experience of a place as any, anything as my eyes and I feel like all of that I try to bring into well it's true it's true I mean a sense of place is exactly the right way to uh, to describe your work because it, you couldn't do what you do without a love of this place I don't I, no I, I believe yeah and um, it's an interpersonal relationship it really is <laughs> It really is. Let's talk about your Blue Willow okay. design. Because I, okay. I, did you know that I bought one of these? And we have it in my house. Well, you mentioned that. Oh, I did tell you that yes, earlier, you right? Yeah. Me. Did you know um, that before I mentioned it to you today, though? No, I did not know that. Oh, okay. I had no idea yeah. that you, in fact, had yes. one of these yourself. Yeah. Um, so this was a fun design to work with because I have a massive collection of actual Blue Willow uh, plates and platters and things that I, in fact, inherited some of them from my grandmother, which is what got my interest going. But in this case, we have the theme of the plate um, turned into a Gloucester um, story. So we have, you know, local, this is actually the house at Good Harbor Beach turned into kind of an Asian style. Mm -hmm. I, every time I look at it, I always think it looks like a pagoda, so I just turned it more into a pagoda. Well, you know, the, the, was it the King of Siam uh, that was, was, was lived there? Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Really and truly. The Trail of Suicide. Oh, I Sam. had no idea. Yeah. That's so cool. That's there you true. go. So yeah. you can kind of... It was their summer place or something, and they, they, the sun went to uh, Harvard. That is fascinating. Yeah, you should read about it. They yeah. have a tribute. They have a, a plaque in, in Cambridge about so it. The, so the pagoda thing is, it's is real. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. And then we have twin lights, and we have uh, naturally motif number one here, um, and various and sundry... Different seagulls. You yeah, have a Gloucester dragger. We've got you some have fish. You have the boat lobster. building. 
Yeah, this is like Essex. So it's really exactly. Cape Ann. Exactly, it's Cape Ann. Yeah, because that's, that's, that's Essex right. Cape motif. Yep. Uh, you have Hammond Castle. I've got you. Got them all. You, you're naming everything the here. The Bridge. Yes. The Schooner Land. Yep. The the lighthouse. The breakwater. <laughs> You have your lobster boat. I mean, yep. it really covers everything. A dory up here. I love dories. In this classic, classic design <laughs> that will hold up for, I, you know, I, I told Alexandria, your sister, that I wish you would really get it done into China. Is that, is that, have you explored that? You know, so yesterday someone asked me the same question. Someone who was buying one of these, she said, please make it into a plate. And I said, it's just so expensive. I the imagine. It would be really expensive. She said that she would... Pay whatever, whatever it costs, you would actually buy one. So I, who knows? Maybe it, maybe I yeah, should. I think it really needs because it'd be like the classic wedding present. Yeah, that's true. You know, true. a set of, of true. set if of you these. Look at it that way instead of a set of dishes. Right. It's a single gift. Yeah. A single plate is a gift. It would work. So Bri brilliant. We'll have to investigate this. Yes, I'm, de I'm definitely. Plate. I am. I will promote that for free for okay. you forever and ever because I believe in it. Yeah. Uh, but let's talk about this over here. I mean, okay. you you work in a bunch of different mediums. Yes, I do. Um, this is a, um, it's called jetsam fish. And I actually looked up the difference between flotsam and jetsam because I wanted to make sure. And these are all things that I found on the beaches of Cape Ann. Um, I actually can oh, see, look, here's a piece of oh, char so chart of Blue Willow right there. That's off a of Blue Willow plate. That's right. But, um, and look at this old my son fork found the, the fork. My son and found the fork. I had to bribe him to give it to me. But <laughs> um, here's more Blue Willow. It's, I actually, t when I find a, a chard, I actually am even happier than when I find a big piece of sea glass because I love the shards. Um, and there's certain places that are better. For Pavilion Beach is really great, and so is the uh, public access beach right here on Rocky Mountain. You Dallas. realize you're giving away the secret. That's okay. Yeah. It's like, you know, a lot of people call that Sea Glass Beach. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. When, I was, when we were kids, <laughs> we, we would go uh, traipsing down there and, and sea glass hunting. I think a lot of people have discovered it. I can't imagine that they still keep up, come up with it, though. Well, the problem is you can't, it's you know littering to throw glass and china into the water nowadays and yeah. to be what people did with their trash so yeah. we're still finding things that are you know Unearthed. actually archaeologically fascinating because they're old you know yeah. they're, they're so um that's what we've got here and it's it's this is um window screen that's been i shape the fish with this heavier wire in a kind of calder-esque which is definitely the inspiration for this is alexander calder um and you know we got a couple of like 3D things here, like this little fin sticking out. But um, these take a while to make, but I, I do love making them. How much is that? Three hundred fifty dollars. It's three hundred fifty dollars, but they, it's probably the most expensive thing you've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> because your blue willow design. And it and it oh, it comes with a bell whole, and everything. Yeah, it's got a multi, you know, it's multi use. Multi, yeah, you can get sound out of it. You, anyway, so there you go. Uh, the light that it reflects, though, <laughs> I think it's going to come through in the video well, too. Well, the sea I'm really glass, the sea glass, should have light running, shining through it. It's so beautiful. Yeah, you know, it's like stained glass. It's the same thing you're capturing, is which is just. When light, when when glass is lit up, it becomes a spectacular. We thing. should mention that we're at Ro the Rocky Neck Gallery. That's true. We are. Yeah. So we're people should know. Rocky Neck Art Gallery. Yeah. <laughs> we should definitely mention that. That's they true. Come down here and check right, out your stuff. Let's baby around. Yep. And uh, so, what is? Well, can, you, can you explain to me because I'm a I'm a, 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 a <coughs> idiot as far as uh, art goes. What is the uh, this? Okay. So we have several processes, right. um, which are involved here. This is a monoprint. These are, this is a, these are actually all monoprints. I decided to do a monoprint wall, which means you paint a picture on a piece of plexiglass, you place a dampened piece of paper on top, and then you crank it through a press, and your painting comes off on the piece of paper. And um, wow. sometimes there's a very faint image left on your plexiglass, and that's called a ghost, and thereby you can rework the ghost and come up with a second version of the print. So I often have two and sometimes three versions of, of a print. This is actually adventure. Wow. Um, when she was getting re, her, her uh, I'm not sure what, the hull was getting I like how you sign it, Rhinelander. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> and you should know who that is. Yeah, there you go. It's Rhinelander. Um, oh, it's, oh, these are beautiful. Oh my God, my wife would love that. <laughs> I love schooners. My dad had a schooner growing up, so when I was growing up. In Nova Scotia, and that's why I think part of my, my thing is with the dories and the schooners and everything. It just feels like where I spent my summers. Oh, my Lord. So. 
and this is letterpress, which is set type, um, which I have at home. I have lead type, which I can set and then print in my basement. So there's, that's another kind. And then the last kind of printmaking I do is called um, etching. So this would be, this is a, an etching, and this is an etching that's been hand colored. And this is a, a oh you eat, bite into a metal plate with acid. You draw into this waxy material, oh. and then you dip it into acid. Did they used to do that at um, the, the place that was in the West End of Gloucester? I'm it, not sure. I think so. Um, I forget the guy's name. It was a ho so. ho Rollins, Holly, I'm not sure. But. <laughs> yeah, this is really beautiful. Do you have a website, Mary? I do. What's MaryRhinelander.com. That's very, yes. that's difficult to remember. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I got that early on, or I know there'd be a lot of competition for that name. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm a huge fan, and, and your work, I should say, is uh, you have the same uh, kind of um, theory on, on your work, that you want it to be accessible to the people. It's not priced crazy. It's, 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 you want it, you want, you'd rather have people enjoy it rather than I, I sit stacked up on the, on the, against the baseboard. It's someplace. not an elitist kind of uh, art form, no, and, and I, I want it accessible both um, in terms of subject matter and in terms of price point and you know one of the, my proudest things is when someone says to me I'm buying my, fir my first piece of art yeah. and I've had that happen a bunch of times and it's all you there you go, there you go. <laughs> Mary thank you